Do not get into that car. If he flees... Attorneys and the family of the 17-year-old shot and killed by a U.S. Park Police officer now want that officer to be publicly identified and charged with murder. It follows the release of body camera video of the shooting that you saw yesterday here on Fox 5. Stephanie Ramirez is on the story tonight. She talked with the attorney. She's standing by live now with more. Steph? Hey, and Jim, first we want to note the U.S. Attorney's Office doesn't normally discuss investigations, but did confirm for Fox 5 today that they, coordinating with the FBI, have opened a civil rights investigation into this U.S. Park Police involved shooting. Meanwhile, we heard charged words from the family today in their calls for justice. The mother of the 17 year old son killed, uh, describing her son's death as an execution by police. Here's some more from that mother. This pain hurts so bad. I just want justice for my son. And I need the officer to be locked up. All of them that played the role. He got in that car because he had another motive for my son. Now, we are not showing when the shots were fired, but you should be looking at video leading up to that moment and after in U.S. Park Police body-worn camera video released yesterday. This happened before 9 in the morning on March 18th in Northeast D.C. Park Police responding to a call for help from D.C. Police with a situation involving 17-year-old Delano Martin asleep in a parked running vehicle. Now, police make a plan to try and arrest him. Martin ends up waking up. He takes off. A park police officer is still in the back seat of that vehicle telling him to stop and then the officer is seen shooting Martin several times from the back. The vehicle comes to a stop crashing into a home. Also released yesterday is the DC police body cam video from when the other police officers from the other police officers involved. These are DC police officers. That is something that the attorneys are also paying attention to because you hear them coming up with their game plan on how to address this in that video. Take a listen. If he does, he takes golf, just let him go. But don't get inside that car until we do that. So just a reminder, if he does flee, that is his avenue of escape. He is to be let go. How long will we as a community have to continue to have the talk with our young black children because they are treated differently by police? Now, today, D.C. police tell us they do not train their officers to enter cars in situations like this. The Martin family and their attorneys want to know why the U.S. Park Police officer did so, as they now mourn the 17-year-old as a loving son to nine siblings and the father of a five-month-old. Park Police Union, they previously called for the immediate release of all of this video, emphasizing that this was a stolen car and that a gun was found inside. They also said that the Park Police officer had a lawful reason to enter. We still do not know who stole the vehicle or who the firearm belonged to. Usually in police use of force investigations involving D.C. police, we know the name of the officer by now, but there are different rules for federal officers, so their names have not been released yet. You guys, also, the family attorney says that they are planning to file a civil suit. Back to you.